G'day, I'm Paul, and that's McKinnon. We're out at Clements Mill Road again. Um, just set up camp, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Matt's probably going to go for a walk in this, with a firearm soon. I probably will, we'll see. Let me show you through camp. Matt's little tent. This is wonderful, he slept in all sorts of conditions in this tent. Here we go. No new additions this trip, I don't think. Except that I've got a ridiculously thick air mattress in my bed now. Right, look at this. Right, that's all air mattress. I've slept on it before. Bought it from Kathmandu. Quite expensive, but super comfortable. So this is ethanol. Apparently you're not meant to drink it. Matt brought it as lighter fluid. What have you just drunk, Matt? <laughs> Cup of tea. Cup of tea with ethanol. Morning. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I've been up for half an hour. There's a chance it might rain this morning, so I've packed up the tent already. Keep it as dry as possible. Matt's disappeared, long gone. He's gone that way today. He probably disappeared at about five o'clock in the morning. I didn't hear him. Inflatable mattress was primo. Primo comfort in that tent now. Um, and the inflatable mattress is in the tent now, stored up with the tent folded up. So I think that's where it's going to live its life. Um, also bought a new tool this week, which I have tested half of its functions. Let me show you. So this is a DeWalt inflator, which I bought because I want to be able to easily inflate and deflate my tires. So there's a tire jobby to inflate your tires, power it up. It's got a PSI or bar or kilopascals measure here which you can change by holding down these two buttons and then turning the dial. I've got it set to PSI. When you've got it set to PSI you can set your PSI. 35 PSI. Push blow. And in theory it should inflate your tyres until it hits 35 PSI and stop on a battery haven't tried it out it's also got a blower function so you can reconnect your blower function put this on blower and inflate your bed um, the real magic thing about it I thought was put this away thought this was really magic was it doesn't have to operate on battery you can plug it into your car and operate it on 12 volts so if this actually does what it says it's going to do it's going to be an awesome tool to have four wheel driving to deal with my tyres last night it was an awesome tool to deal with my bed I'm back on the road. I've been out in the bush for about three and a half hours, I think. Saw lots of sign, like I'm sure I do every time I go into the bush, but like ridiculous amounts of here. 
Didn't hear any animals. Didn't see any animals. Oh well. I'm a few k's from camp. So, heading that way. Well, the sun's come out. Matt's off in the bush that way somewhere. Might as well dry out the tent. now Sunday sitting in front of my computer about to start video editing so this is my roundup video also Cyclone Gabriel is on her way about to hit the North Island so there's no camping today and if you're out camping today in the North Island probably time you packed up and went home there's a massive cyclone coming a quick penny update She's big. You're big, ain't you, Penny? She goes for her last vaccination in two weeks, so she'll be out and about after that. Mostly a good trip in the bush. Yet again, I didn't see any animals. I did hear some. I saw lots of sign. Um, but on the upside, Matt came home with stories of seeing four animals, none of which he shot and brought home, um, all of which he spooked and they ran off, but he literally got to go eye to eye with some deer so that's exciting i'm paul and we've been in the kaimanoa forest <laughs>